Today we will study Invertase, an enzyme that breaks down sucrose, a disaccharide, into fructose and glucose, monosaccharides. Invertase is usually obtained from yeast for making certain candies. Think cherry cordials. How does pH affect the activity of this enzyme? Let's find out. Here is a list of equipment and supplies we will need. Spectrophotometer, water baths 50 and 100 degrees, test tubes, test tube racks, glass cuvettes, Kim wipes, one mil transfer pipettes, 0.3% sucrose solution, invertase suspension, pH 3 buffer, pH 5 buffer, pH 7 buffer, pH 9 buffer, and DNS, dinitrosalicylic acid. Here is a list of safety equipment, gloves, goggles, a lab coat is recommended, fume hood, and hot mitts. It is best to turn on the spectrophotometer and let it warm up. Let's do that now. This is a Genesis 20 and it turns on in the back. You could be using this model or you could be using the Genesis 30, which turns on on the side. Both need to warm up for at least 30 minutes. Now to the experiment. We are going to check out the enzyme activity with various pH buffers. When you come into the lab, you will need the following. A test tube rack, two test tubes, and label those test tubes 1 and 2. You will be assigned a pH buffer to do the experiment. But in this video, we will be performing all the pH buffers in this table and we'll label the tubes one through eight. First, we will add one mil of sucrose solution into each test tube. Now we will add our pH buffer. One mil into test tube number one. And a half a mil into test tube number two. Lastly, we add 0.5 mils Invertase suspension only to test tube number two. Now it's time to put our test tubes into the 50 degree water bath. Incubate the test tubes in the 50 degree water bath for 15 minutes. Careful, it's hot. Fifteen minutes are now up. It's time to pull the test tubes out of the bath and head over to the fume hood. Now you need to add one mil of DNS, that's dinitrosalicylic acid, to each tube. DNS reduces glucose, and reduced DNS is visible and measurable on a spectrophotometer. 
DNS is a corrosive solution and must be handled with caution. Always in the fume hood, always wearing gloves, and always wearing goggles. Now it's time to put our test tubes into the 100 degree water bath. Carefully place your test tubes in the 100 degree bath for 10 minutes. Careful, it's very hot. Carefully take the tubes out of the 100 degree bath and let cool. Time for the spectrophotometer. We are going to select absorbance first. Then we are going to set the spectrophotometer to 540 nanometers because this is the optimal absorbance for sugars reduced by DNS. We will be using glass cuvettes for our analysis. When you are in the lab, you will label them 1 and 2. For this video, we use 1 through 8 to prevent any confusion. Transfer the contents of the test tubes into the respectively labeled cuvettes. Tube number one is your blank. This is for setting the spectrophotometer to zero. In this experiment, the blank is the solution that only has sucrose and pH buffer. Using a chem wipe to wipe down the cuvette labeled number one, this is our blank. Place in the spectrophotometer cuvette chamber, close the cover, press the zero button. This zeroes the machine. Make sure the reading is stable and not drifting. Now it's time to read tube number two. Wipe down the tube, place in the cuvette chamber, and close the cover. Read the number on the display and record the absorbance. Repeat this with each pH buffer sample tube. Here is a graph of our results. Optimal enzyme activity occurs at pH 5.